We are going to deploy our code igniter for blog project on live server. Close all local browser tabs. I already bought new domain name and assigned to my hosting or web hosting. This is the domain name for my Code Igniter blog project. As you can see, I wrote this simple text inside index.php for testing our domain. To see all website files, just click on this file manager button. And go inside public underscore HTML folder. We can edit this index.php. Let's make changes on this file. As you can see, new updates added to this text. First thing we have to do, we have to create email account. To do that, just click on email accounts. Manage. To create new email account, click on this button. Inside this input field, type anything you want. On password input field, type your desired and strong password on your own. Or enable this checkbox for generating strong password. Once you are happy with your strong password, keep it somewhere in your computer. And then, click create new account button. Let's store our email account details inside notepad. We finished about creating email account. Next thing we have to do, is to create database. To do that, just click on this databases button. Once you reach on this page. Just enter database name and username respectively. For password, you can type your own password. But you can click on this icon for generating strong password. Once you are happy with your strong password, keep it somewhere in your computer. We chose to keep those database details in this notepad. Click this green create button to create database. Once database created, also save these database name and username in notepad.
After that, click on this button to go to PHP My Admin. Next, import our exported database. As you can see, all Code Igniter 4 blog tables have been imported successfully inside this database. Go to File Manager. Delete this index.php file. To upload any file, just click on this up arrow. Then, select compressed project file. Wait for uploading process. We have this spinning icon and this small progress bar for showing us that the uploading is in progress. Once uploading finished, extract zip file. Open this folder and move all files directly to the public underscore HTML. Next, edit.env file. First thing we have to do on this file, we have to change the space URL. Secondly, update database details. Password must be between two single quotes or double quotes. Finally, update email account details. This email underscore from underscore address variable will be the same to the email underscore username. Once you done, save the file. Very important thing you have to do, is to create .ht access file inside public underscore html if not exists.
This file will help us to run our Code Igniter project without changing its file's structure. Just edit this .ht access file. Inside this file, add the following lines. Once you done, save the file. So, our blog is ready. Let's test. Refresh the page. After page refreshed, we have this error, which is not bad. We need to change PHP version in configuration. Back to hosting or then find advanced section and click PHP configuration. By default, we have PHP version 8.0. So, we need to set this to the latest version. Then, click this update button. PHP version updated successfully. Let's test. Good, our Code Igniter 4 blog is now on live server through this domain name. Everything worked fine. Next video which is the last video on this tutorial series, we will test our entire blog on live server.